There's another church down there. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Yes. And another one over there, maybe part of the wall. Yeah, I don't want to kill myself, so I'm going to have to do it quickly. Okay. Oh, shit, the mud. I'm trying to avoid mud because I don't like my shoes to be dirty. <laughs> They're hiking shoes. I don't like my shoes dirty or my clothes dirty. And I'm a mechanic. Funny. Look at that, wow, it's beautiful. Oh, and there's a stairway. <laughs> oh, well, I, okay, I made my own way down. There it is. Let's see if this one has frescoes. Again, I doubt it, but uh, let's see. Yeah, there's frescoes. Beautiful. There's no plaque, I don't know what the fuck. Anyways, uh, there's some frescoes here. Uh, there's some uh, Armenian writing on top. There you go. And see, they uh, deface the, the frescoes, you know? Even the ones on top, they deface the faces of the frescoes because it's a blasphemy, you know? Stupidity. Anyways, there's a thousand year old fresco and they erase the face somewhere in time. All the faces erased, unbelievable. We all know religion is man-made, but some people takes it to the to the edge, you know. There's all the faces, <laughs> all the faces raised. Yeah. There's another one there, a Virgin Mary and an angel, and again the faces are erased. There's a cherub. Kerub, no, it's another figure right here. And one of those, uh, it's like a, like an angel, but more human than angel. And they're all deleted. It pisses me off, you know. This is wonderful. But then they forgot. But um, they forgot the birds kissing. You, I mean, uh, animal fears. They forgot him. So let's see what's left on the inside here. I can't believe that. Oh, wow. The, the first, uh, So this is the interior of the church, and again, the, you know, every every single uh, human face is being erased. Every single one. Um, you know, no concept of preservation or history. Of course, this happened, you know, 500, 600, 800 years ago. But still, you know, come on, leave this shit the way it is. Um, this is unbelievably beautiful. Yeah. Anyways, the church is dedicated to San Gregor, San Gregor, San Gregory, and um, and the the church was built in between um, in the year 1215. And uh, 1251, it was finished and dedicated to San Gregory.
There's an inscription on the eastern wall side of the church that reads, In the year 1215 AD, by the grace of God, when the Lord of this city of Ani was the strong and powerful Zacharia, I, Tigran, servant of God, son of Sulem, Zmbatorentz, of the Honentz family, for the long life of my lords and of their children, built this monastery of San Grigor, which was on the edge of the escarpment and in place full of underbush. And I brought it with my legitimate wealth from the owners and with great fatigue and expense. I provided it with the fence all around. I built this church in the name of San Grigor, Lusavor Rich, and I embellished it with many decorations. The sign at the entrance of this church is not telling the truth as everything that the, the, the Turkish government does in regards to these kind of monuments. Um, the, year, the, the year of finish of this church was the year 1215, not 1250 something as the sign says. Anyways, and that, at, at that time, when it was finished by this uh, Tigran Honets from this wealthy family, the city of Ani was under Georgian rule. So it is believed that Georgian artisans uh, painted the frescoes and the church was under Georgian Orthodox rite. point out the manufacturing here. Look at the manufacturing of this wall. So perfect. So beautiful. All right. And there's, I guess I'm gonna miss the other church. I'm not sure how to get there. It's down there. <laughs> 